The city rises up like a putrid smudge in the sky. And I patrol the night and protect the innocent as the claw. What do you got for me tonight, Johnny? A whole shitload of these explosives being shipped to Buddy Holly and Claw. Do you know what this means, Johnny? That the moderate the terrorists, moderate terrorists on, Bazonia on Bazonia are, are helping, helping incite, incite a civil, a civil war, on war on Buddy Holly. Yeah, I'm a master detective. I wouldn't expect you to know something like that. You're a good guy, Johnny. Say hello to your mother. God, what a dick. Captain's Log, star day 013. Having returned to Earth, I discovered that I had a quantum duplicate created by a teleporter accident 30 years ago and that he had become a famous crime fighter. Also, he was kind of a dick. We were called into the president's office for an emergency meeting. Now, the president of Earth is an unfrozen caveman named Grunk. I'm here to tell you one thing. The moderate terrorists on Bazonia are supplying explosives to the separatists on Buddy Halia. Also, taxation is theft. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Scary man is right. In the last six months, Federated Union lose three green machines here. Captain, when you downloaded Buddy Holly songs into the One-Eyed Robot Spider Matrix, I'm afraid you created a power vacuum that the moderates on Bazonia are exploiting for political gain in the Senate. Hey man, we just put the songs out there. We just told them love is real. What they do with it, that's on them. Now the first step to averting a civil war was going to have to be stopping the supply of munitions from the clown planet to Buddy Halia. To that end, I've dispatched my security chief, my intelligence officer, Eduardo McGillicuddy, undercover clown, and Dolly Bear, my personal assistant, to meet with a delegation of moderates. So what do you guys think of these new shuttles? I get the efficient design, but I feel like a moving target. How far away are we? The moderates began as a political movement on a world divided by a bitter left-right paradigm. But after a taste of the influence that agitation can bring, the moderates soon began labeling anything that opposed them as extremist. One of the leaders of the moderates was Sweetie Bear, Dolly Bear's twin sister. Now don't let her looks fool you. She's mean as shit. Hey, screw you! Outpost First Alpha 1A was in a demilitarized zone between Yarnia and Buddy Halia. The moderates took advantage of the lack of oversight in this area and set up a weapons facility right under our noses. What are you doing here, Pop? Sweetie Bear showed me the error of my way, son. I was being way too extreme. Extreme? Pop, you're not an extremist. If you were less extreme, you'd disappear. Hey, screw you, Larry. Marco and I are doing just fine. Wait, the two Wait, of you, you are and my together? Sister? Hey, it's not like I'm a Bonobo or something. In the meantime, Sonny and Brad returned to the Council of Elders. Now, the council was made up of representatives from both sides on, on Buddy Halia, which up to now had worked out pretty well for them. After about, you know, 700 bajillion years or whatever, they were fixing to disband. Oh, coolest of the most cruel, cool. we must stay united. We can't let our differences separate us like this. You are a child. It was you who downloaded the Buddy Holly songs into the One-Eyed Robot Spider Matrix. You've doomed us all. I'm not sure what you mean. My people owe Sunny and all of you a great debt we can never repay. You gave us the songs. Without the proper context and training, and the history and the songs and their meaning, you will never understand the true depth and meaning of the songs. 
How could you possibly? We would need years of preparation for your people to be able to fully accept and understand the theology behind the songs. Perhaps my people just needed reminding that love is real. Now while this was going on, we were on a diplomatic mission to a planet of simians to help shore up support in case war broke out on Buddy Halia. While there, I was helping my chief medical officer with a much happier duty. Happier, I guess, I mean. Now, is this why your Uncle Leo wanted to make sure you weren't involved or engaged or whatever? So he could make some political points by arranging some marriage for you? You don't even know this guy. Oh, what do I care, Kenneth? It's just political. It's family stuff. You wouldn't understand. Are you sure you wouldn't do this? You are so bitter. I am not. Larry, what the hell, man? Hang on there, Captain. It turns out the Separatists on Buddy Halia had weaponized the floating tentacle monsters. And while the new breed started off cute like pets, they quickly grew to human size. Tree, Maybe one day, son, you can grow up and be a plot twist. And soon they started eating spaceships. That's why all the ships had been disappearing on their way to Buddy Halia. So here we were, adrift in space with no ship and a civil war about to break out in the Federated Union. Big giant monster.